So I'm here on Windows Subsystem for Linux 2, uh, running the latest kernel Linux, the latest release candidate kernel Linux from Linux to Roads. Okay, what I want to show you guys today is this. I have here this process, this program that allocates four gigabytes of memory. Uh, this will sleep for 10 seconds. After this leap, this will free the memory, right? We allocate 4 gigabytes and now this is free. Uh, we will take a second nap, more than seconds of this leap, and after that, the process is done. The cool thing is, okay, we allocate 4 gigabytes of memory on Linux side, but here on Windows side, here I'm using the task manager of the Windows, we can see here the increase of the memory in use, okay? The strange thing is we allocate 4 GB, but this memory is already free, okay? The programs free these 4 GB of memory. And here on the desk manager, we are not seeing the decrease of the memory in use. For the Windows, these 4 GB of memory continues in use. But here on Linux, if we check this, uh, I'm configured the WSL to use only 8 GB of my computer. And we can see here that we are uh, with 7.6 GB of free memory. So these 4 GB is really free but for the windows this continues uh, allocated so if you want to know more stay with me Hey guys, Matheus Castello here and if you don't know me, I'm an embedded software engineer and kernel Linux developer and on my spare time, I like to share the things that I'm studying and work on here on this YouTube channel. So if you like this kind of content about kernel Linux, embedded Linux, uh, Windows subsystem for Linux and more, please subscribe to the channel to receive more content. Okay, so let's go to the subject of the video. Uh, first of all, I have to tell you that this issue, this uh, free memory uh, between Linux and Windows, the Linux allocated memory and this uh, not being the allocated for uh, to Windows is already fixed on the downstream kernel or uh, the default version, the default kernel Linux version uh, of the Windows subsystem for Linux, okay? This is already fixed, this is already implemented. So let's demonstrate this. I will age it here. I will shut down the WSL. This will also shut down the utility virtual machine of the WSL. And we can see here that now we have the decrease of the memory uses. So we allocate 4 GB, but now uh, shut down the utility virtual machine is that we have uh, the memory back here on the Windows. Okay, so I have here on my .wsl config that I'm using only 8 GB of memory okay for wsl and i'm loading this uh kernel linux the mainline kernel linux and i will uh comment this because now i want to run the wsl using the default uh kernel linux from microsoft and let's let's run here the program again Okay, 4 GB in use, we will uh, sleep for 10 seconds. We can see here on task manager, uh, the memory being increased, uh, free memory, and now we can see here the decrease of the memory usage. So here on the uh, default, the downstream kernel Linux uh, from Microsoft, this is already fixed. Uh, when we have free memory, uh, this is back, this uh, is the allocated also on Windows site. Oh, and I almost forget, let me show here uh, 
the memo.c, uh, the code from our memo program, is a simple C code. We are allocating here a char pointer, okay, with four gigabytes of memory. We sleep for 10 seconds to see the increase of the memory uh, usage. After this, we will free the char pointer, okay? We are deallocating the four gigabytes and more uh, 10 seconds of sleep to see the decrease of the memory usage. And it is it, return and the program is done. Very simple. And we can check here uh, the Microsoft GitHub repository, the WSL2 Linux kernel repository uh, that we have here, this commit uh, from Sunil, kernel Linux developer at Microsoft and that is implementing the Hyper-V support for unused page reporting. So this unused page reporting have to be implemented on the Hyper-V driver on Linux side. So what is happening here behind the scenes is that we have uh, Windows and Linux, right, uh, running on top of the hypervisor and is the hypervisor that handle uh, the hardware. So the anti-kernel, the Windows kernel and the kernel Linux uh, needs drivers that knows how to ask memory to hypervisor. On the Linux side, we have this Hyper-V balloon driver that knows uh, how to make the Hyper-V calls and ask memory to hypervisor, right? So uh, this, uh, the hypervisor allocates the memory and this inflates the balloon, right? This memory uh, is allocated on inside uh, the balloon driver, okay? But in the same way that uh, we have this mechanism to ask for memory, we need also to report, to uh, notify the hypervisor that, okay, the memory that I asked for is now free. So we need to implement this inside the balloon driver and is exactly this that we have here on this commit. We have the hyperv defines uh, the Hyper-V call uh, defines and the functions uh, inside the Hyper-V uh, balloon uh, driver, okay? So with this, with this report, with this uh, notify, uh, uh, the hypervisor knows that, okay, now the memory is free and this will be deallocated and will be back available uh, to other requests uh, virtual machines and also for the Windows itself. So the issue with mainline kernel is that we don't have this uh, mechanism, this you use it um, page reporting implemented on the mainline kernel. Uh, we already have some work in progress. Sunil is already sending patches with this feature on the Linux kernel mailing list, so we can get here this patch. So if you really need to run a mainline kernel Linux on WSL2 and uh, this free page reporting is an issue to you, uh, you can uh, get here this uh, patch and apply on your kernel Linux, the mainline kernel Linux source code. I already done this here, I have here I have here this applied on this uh, branch on my mainline kernel Linux um, repository, okay? And I already uh, compiled this. Let me show, let me demonstrate this. I will uh, remove the command here from this kernel, this is the 58 release candidate 6 with the balloon patch applied okay uh, let's let's shoot down to WSL okay and let's call again okay and now I have here my my latest kernel Linux release candidate 6 
the balloon uh, Microsoft standard version, right? And so let's execute the program, the memo program, to check if this works. Okay, four gigabytes in use. Uh, let's sleep for 10 seconds. You, uh, we can check here the increase of the memory, right? On the task man manager. Now the memory is free and we can see here the hypervisor being reporting. Uh, we have the unused pages being reported to hypervisor and or hyper-v balloon driver. Uh, notifying the hypervisor that okay the memory that we allocate is now free okay so it's working the patch from Sunil uh, works on the mainline but remembering this is working in progress so uh, this patch here is yet on the Linux kernel main list so uh, is not uh, apply it on the uh, mainline yet okay okay so i think this is it if you want to uh, study more and go deeper on the hyper v balloon driver uh, i will leave here uh, the links on the video description the linux kernel main list patch from sunil the commit uh, on the github from microsoft the wsl to linux kernel source code uh, and my uh, GitHub repository with the patch applied so you can use as base for your mainline kernel Linux build, okay? I will leave all these links here on the video description. So I think this is it. If you like uh, the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like here. If you don't like, no problem, uh, leave your dislike to and if you have some doubt or want to comment leave here on the comments and i think it's it so thank you and see you on the next video